Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Thursday, May 6th. We're continuing out of Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Our song for this morning is Praise to the Lord, the Almighty. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise God, for he is thy help and salvation. All ye who hear, now to God's temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. In the light of the morning, we will sing for joy. Our psalm this morning comes from Psalm 30, verses 4 through 7. Sing to the Lord, you servants of God. Give thanks for the remembrance of God's holiness. For God's wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye but favor for a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night, but joy comes in the morning. While I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with your favor, made me as strong as the mountains. In the light of the morning, we will sing for joy. Our Old Testament reading continues out of Numbers, chapter 11, verses 1 through 23. Now the people complained bitterly about their hardship. The Lord heard them, and God's anger blazed up. Fire broke out and burned down some of the outlying parts of the camp. And when the people asked Moses to intercede with God, the fire died down. They named that place Tabera, or Blaze, for God's fire blazed against them. Soon the riffraff among them began complaining and whining, and Israelites said, Who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish that we used to eat freely in Egypt and the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic. But out here, we're wasting away. There's nothing here but manna for us to look at. The manna was like coriander seed and looked like droplets of gum from the bark of a tree. The people would go out gathering it and grind it in a mill or crush it with a pestle. They would cook it in a pot and make it into dumplings. It had a rich taste as if it had not had been made with oil. When the dew fell on the camp at nighttime, the manna fell with it. Moses heard the people, family after family, wailing at the entrances of their tents, so much so that the Lord's anger flared up again. Moses was aggrieved and said to God, Why do you treat me this way? Are you so displeased with me that you must burden me with this whole nation? Was it I who conceived these people? Was it I who gave birth to them that you should say to me, carry them at your bosom like a nurse with a baby at the breast to the land that I swore to give to their ancestors? Where am I to find meat to these people where they come to me weeping and saying, give us meat to eat? I cannot carry this nation alone. The weight is too much for me. If this is how you'll deal with me, just allow me this one favor and kill me now. Spare me from seeing such misery as this. The Lord said to Moses, Gather together seventy of your elders, those you know to be leaders and officials among the people. Have them come to the mount of tent of meeting and take their place there among you. I will come down and speak to you there. I will take some of the spirit that lives in you and give it to them. They will share the burden of your people so that you do not carry all of it by yourself. Say to the people, consecrate yourselves for tomorrow, for then you will eat meat. The Lord heard you when you cried out, if only we had meat to eat. Why did we ever leave Egypt? Now the Lord will give you meat to eat, not just for one day or two or five, ten or twenty, but for a whole month until it comes out of your nostrils and you loathe it because you rejected the Lord God who dwells among you with your endless complaining, with your constant refrain of why did we ever leave Egypt? But Moses objected. Here I am with 600,000 people on foot and you say I will give you meat to eat for a whole month. If all our flocks and herds were slaughtered, would that not be enough? If all the fish in the sea were gathered, would that be enough? The Lord answered Moses, Is the Lord's arm too short? You will see whether or not what I say will come to be.
Our New Testament reading comes from Luke chapter 4, verses 38 through 44. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and his family. Simon Peter's mother-in-law was in the grip of a high fever, and they asked him to help her. Jesus stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left. She got up immediately and went about her work. At sunset, all who had people sick with a variety of diseases brought them to Jesus, and he laid hands on each and cured them. Demons departed from many, crying out as they did so, You are the firstborn of God. Jesus rebuked them and forbade them to speak, for they knew who the Messiah was. The next morning, Jesus left the house and went to a lonely place. The crowds followed, and when they found Jesus, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But Jesus said, I must proclaim the good news of God's reign to the other towns too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued preaching in the synagogues of Judea. In the light of the morning, we will sing for joy. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel prayed, I did not ask for success. I asked for wonder. And you, God, gave it to me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. You hear our prayers, whether they are full of thanksgiving or full of complaints. Your mercy is unending. Even in your discipline, you restrain yourself in ways we cannot know. May our mumbled words of gratitude and our fleeting praises find crevices where they can grow within your presence. Lord of light and morning. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.